How's it going? I'm Fleet here at the Wizards Wagon, and I, I got a few comics for you today. Uh, first up, we got from Image Comics six sidekicks of uh, Trigger Keep right here. This is this is Trigger on the back right here. So he's kind of like a he's like a Clint Eastwood, uh, Chuck Norris kind of figure in this in this fictional Hollywood, where he uh, he had he had like a show called uh, Martial it's called Martial Law. Uh, kind of like a, it, it doesn't really matter. The, the point is, it, he's this, he's this, this, uh, this movie star who, or this TV star and whatever, who, who's just cool at what he does, but he just alienated all these people. So where the six sidekicks comes from is, uh, Trigger is found dead in his apartment, and all the people who he's worked with and kind of ruined their lives in the past come to, uh, to his funeral to say some things. So we're seeing, like, sidekick number six. Sidekick number was it number one, and this is he was like a child star when this happened. But now it's 25 years later, something like that. So they're so the the these failed actors and everything are trying to figure out what happened because it seemed like it was a suicide, but all the evidence suggests that there was a murder. So this is pretty cool. Um, Kyle Starks makes a lot of fun independent comics, uh, and just you should check them out. Now, from Aftershock, we have Bunny Mask, number one. Now, this one's kind of crazy. Uh, we have this character right here who was named Bunny Mask for lack of a better term. This talks about a detective who who went to find this girl uh, who was being abused by her father in some way. And, and he's kidnapped instead and forced to work in this mine underneath the house. And, he, and he's... he's basically made a slave until he, he digs through and he finds this uh he finds this opening where there's this this creature lady down there who's who's magical to some degree uh, kind of has this, this horror movie feel to it so then years later uh the guy meets the uh meets the girl who is trying to help um at an art gallery and uh and learns that they that this this woman is still a part of this this girl's life so very cool, uh, kind of mystery-esque thing going on there. Alright, from DC, we got Far Sector number 12. This is the last issue of this series. It's been going on for two years. And uh, so this is the final battle uh, of, the, of the, the new Green Lantern. Um, as, she, as she tries to help this, this alien planet uh, from destroying itself. And so we got a lot of cool action here, and a lot of hard buffs or bluffs and gambits. We got some foul language in here too, but that's to be expected. Um, you know, it's hard out here in space. And yeah, we get a cool conclusion, and uh, it's another one that if you have not been reading this one, you should have been. But now that it's done, it'll be collected uh, sometime later on this year. Get on it! One of the best comics. Look, look, at, look at how fire she is. Now, this is this is a this is a, a, a real superhero, not like Batman. It's full of more. All right. Then we got X Men right here. X Men was it 21? This is part of the Hellfire Gala that started last week. So the cool thing about the Hellfire Gala is that each issue of the or each issue of the of the, the comics in the X Men books are all different moment of this night. So it's all happening at the same time. This one introduces the new team of X-Men that are going to be starting up soon. Um, we've got Jean Grey, Cyclops, Rogue, Wolverine, uh, Sink, and Polaris in uh, Sunfire, which is pretty cool. And uh, But outside of that, you get you get some stuff that kind of leads to some crazy stuff. we got Kevin Feige right here of the, uh, of the MCU movies right here, talking to Cyclops about his life. And there's a bunch of like celebrities, real-life people that show up at this party. So... That's pretty fun. All right, now the last thing we'll talk about is this manga right here, uh, Kirby Manga Mania. Kirby, you know, the old Nintendo character. Uh, this is a collection of old classic comics um, that talk about Dreamland, and you, you kind of learn about Kirby's universe that's not explained in the video games. Um, it's just this big fun comedy thing. So I got a bunch of these. All the Nintendo mangas are pretty fun. And yeah, this is, this is a nice little bit of history right here. That's what I got for you today. Thanks for watching.